just like a bad penny I keep turning up. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. And what a beautiful morning it is here today. Kind of a misty morning, a little moisture coming down. Have been catching lots of rain lately. Really nice, really nice day. And first things first, I want to thank all of you for your patience and understanding of me being laid up for the past couple of weeks anyway. Uh, I lose track of exactly how many days, but it's been a while. But I really appreciated all of you uh, chiming in, saying just, uh, we'll be here when I come back. And I know you will, and I appreciate that a lot. So, I'm very behind on things, as you can imagine. And in my <laughs> convalescence, we'll call it, uh, <clears throat> I came up with a new thing to add to the off-grid equation. So you guys know I've always said food, water, and shelter off-grid. Everything after that is gravy. And I'm going to add mitochondria to the equation now. And I've got plenty of food, plenty of water, and good shelter. And of course I've got plenty of power and all of my cells and my batteries are in good shape. Everything just rocking. No problems. So besides not making any YouTube videos for the past couple of weeks, I wasn't able to make any of my other appointments that I had scheduled either. And it was a little bit frustrating, you know, just being tired, worn out. And I was talking with a retired uh, MD, medical doctor, friend of mine, and she said, well, yeah, you know, you're mitochondria, right? And I've forgotten everything I learned in anatomy and physiology back when I was working a lot in healthcare. But she was right, and she is right. It's that mitochondria. Yeah, the older we get, uh, it takes a lot longer. So I'm gonna talk about that just for a minute because I've got the idea of how to keep my batteries up to, to you know, good shape. But, you know, if we think of ourselves as a battery too, uh, what are the building blocks for keeping our energy up for anything that might knock us out for a while? Yeah, when we're younger, we bounce back faster. When we get older, it slows down. And it's those building blocks of the mitochondria. So what are mitochondria? And I'm going to just read, to the, read this to you a little bit, give you guys a good understanding. A lot of you may know, and it was good for me to refresh about... You know, why am I so tired? Why is it so hard to get out of bed? Why can't I get from point A to point B? I should be by now, right? So mitochondria are like the tiny energy factories inside your cells. They turn food and oxygen into the power your body needs to live and function. When you're young, your mitochondria are like brand new engines, fast, clean, and efficient. They crank out energy easily, which helps you feel full of life, recover quickly, and stay active. As you get older, those little engines can get worn down. They might not produce energy as efficiently, or they might, may start making more exhaust in the form of harmful byproducts. This slowdown can contribute to feeling more tired, taking longer to heal, or just not having the same get up and go. But there is good news. You know, uh, you can keep your mitochondria running strong at any age. And that involves all the things that we probably already know, whether we get sick or you have a surgery or you have an injury of some kind, uh, depending, you know, we can all relate to when we were younger, we bounced back faster. When we're older, we bounce back slower. And, but here's the thing, exercise, eating well, getting enough sleep, avoiding toxins, of course, sunlight, fresh air, reducing stress, all of these things will help your mitochondria build back at a faster level. So, you know, when you've had an injury, you're kind of forced to lay around. Uh, if you've had a surgery, you're kind of forced to lay around at any age. A little bit longer when you're older, but you want to still take into those, you know, considerations of what it takes to stay healthy and strong. Just like we use the solar panels to charge up the batteries, 
we know exactly how to do that, keep the cells healthy and alive for as long as possible. Same thing, we're just one big battery ourselves and it's that mitochondria that really keep us going right down to the cellular level. We need good cellular strength and it just involves all the basic common sense things. Eat well, exercise, rest, all of those keep your engine running strong. So that just makes sense, right? No matter what is ailing you. Uh, and but that's why I'm putting mitochondria into my whole off-grid solution now. You know, it's part of my living off-grid on a daily basis. You know, make sure you're doing all of the things to keep your energy up and healthy down to the cellular level. So it does matter what we eat, what we drink, and, you know, get out and move around a little bit, right? Those are the things that keep you going all the time. Now, when I was younger, especially like, you know, 30 years ago when I first started living off grid, I, you know, I was so active, uh, just go, go, go all the time. Yeah, sometimes, you know, something would happen. You get laid up for a little bit, wouldn't lay you down for very long. Uh, not even enough to get frustrated by, right? But times change. You get a little older, and I think about that a lot more now, you know? I mean, I always keep the food, water, and shelter thing going. Yeah, I run around with my little power systems and make sure all that's going. That's real easy. And then you get sidelined by a little something here or there along the way. And, you know, I found myself being a little frustrated. But that doctor friend of mine, you know, she kept telling me, you know, be patient, take care of yourself, let that mitochondria rebuild your cellular structure. And here I am a couple of weeks later, I'm not going to say I'm 100%, but I'm in the 90th percentile. And I'll take that right now on my way to 100%, just like I'd be super thrilled with any of my batteries being in the 90th percentile any given day, right? So it just gave me a different perspective to be thinking along those lines. You know, I wanted to be in here making videos in the past couple of weeks. I tried to make one the other day. Uh, but try as I might, I wasn't having the energy to do it. You know, I just had a little water pump go out on me. Uh, I could show you a couple of those clips of me trying to make the video. And when I went back and even looked at them as trying to keep something going along with the channel, uh, you know, it just didn't cut the mustard, <laughs> but I did get the water pump back up and running, you know, I had a spare for that, had a backup, had a water pump go out on me, went out there when my battery, my battery wasn't fully charged all the way. And a simple project was much more difficult than it should have been. Even though I did get the water up and was able to have running water again, uh, you just never know. But yeah, that's my whole thing about adding mitochondria to uh, the part of your off-grid lifestyle or no matter where you live. Uh, that doesn't matter. You got to have, you know, the energy at the cellular level. And those are the simple things to do to, to make sure you're humming right along, regardless what happens to you. Illness, injury... The list goes on and on, right? So, yeah. Stay hydrated. Eat good food. Move around as much as you can. Keep plugging along. All right, guys. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys, too, about today. I hope uh, you found it interesting. I really did. The more and more I started thinking about it and I started, you know, going back and looking at some of my old anatomy and physiology books and having conversations with friends about, yeah, I need a few more days. I need a few more days. Why am I not bouncing back? But I'm back. Just like that bad penny. And now to start catching up on uh, videos that I've left you guys hanging. Uh, and there's a few of them out there. 
So yeah, we'll be getting back on that. I've gotten several emails from you guys checking in on me. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the support you guys always throw my way. And uh, we'll keep the conversations going here. Got a system to install. Got some blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a lot of other stuff that I haven't uh, completed for you guys. But yeah, we're going to get on it. So hope you're all doing well. Hope your mitochondria is working well. All right. Well, it feels good to be out walking around. No kidding. All right, you guys. Aloha, everybody. Life is good. Yeah. We are just like any battery that we try to keep up and running, right? We can't just lay out in the sun and charge ourselves up, but there's some other things we can do.